Hi there, Billy here, and today I'm going to show you around MT's new modular helmet, the MT Atom. Now it's designed for touring riders, so people who are sat more upright and riding more upright than in a tuck position. So if you ride a sports bike, probably not right for you. Um, but it's a, a modular helmet, meaning that it's got a flip front like that. So you can put your helmet on, pay the pump, chat to people, and then when you go riding, whack it down and it locks in place obviously. Um, it's polycarbonate shell and when you get it out of the box you know when you get something new you know you're, up, you're looking forward to opening it aren't you? Well when you get out this out of the box you're not disappointed it's got a great finish to it. Um, the build quality looks really good I mean it retails for about 130 to 150 pounds which is getting towards well that's what 180 dollars um, and you know the, the finish you're not getting a budget looking helmet at all the, the, all the parts feel nicely made it's great finish all this matte part here um, is on top of the the lacquered part underneath and the great it's got great detailing I'm very impressed with this um, it's a polycarbonate shell which are the cheaper type of helmets hence the price tag because they're a bit easier cheaper to make uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be any less safe as some of the, the best performing uh, helmets in terms of safety are polycarbonate helmets. Um, check out the website billyscrashhelmets.co.uk if you're in the UK or .com if you're in America um, and um, you'll get a lot more information about how well we expect this helmet to perform uh, in safety testing. Although it, it's not really, it's obviously ECE certified um, so it's going to perform reasonably well at least. They all have to go undergo a pretty thorough testing before they can uh, hit the shells. Um, but we always look towards sharp or snell testing to see if uh, they've gone any further and been accredited uh, in, any, uh, in any better way. So all that information is on the website review. Um, so as we'll look at the, uh, the, the visor, we'll look at the chin guard and we'll look at the internals. The visor um, it works on a ratchet, uh, it's nice and it's decent chunky movement and it'll stay up at any, any position you want it to. It's got a decent cracked open position to keep it fog free um, and the opening tabs on the left hand side which I always like. Be good to see it on both sides when you're uh, sat at the, sat at the um, uh, uh, traffic lights and you want to use your right hand but obviously the most important place is to have it on your left. Um, it's also an optically correct visor meaning it won't distort your vision which is a thumbs up and you see these little pins here if you're not if you don't use a helmet that's got a pin lock on it pin locks are pretty damn good uh, they're an insert I've got one here come like this they're an insert that fits clear insert that fits on the back of your visor and locates between these two pins on either side and uh, this one's called a max vision insert that comes free with this helmet I say free is including the price obviously um, but it, it stops it fogging up in all the, but the most extreme um, situations. I mean, I have had a pin lock f uh, fog up once, but that was at, at the top of an alp. So uh, most circumstances, whether it's cold, wet, rainy, or indeed humid, um, it should stop it, uh, it, it fogging up, which is fantastic. Um, this one, the Max Vision one, you, the standard original pin locks were quite small and if you got your head down, you, the top of the pin lock would get in your line of vision which was no good. So this comes with a Max Vision one which should cover all of your vision, uh, all of the inside of the visor uh, and that's about 30 quids worth there in the box. So uh, well worth having. Well done MT for including it, not everybody does. A lot of places will, you'll see the pins but you'll not actually get the insert included so uh, that's great that it comes with it. Um, it's also, which is not that common on, a, uh, on a, a modular helmet, it's also a quick release. So all you have to do, like a lot of helmets, open the visor up fully, pull down this tab and uh, off it pops. Uh, and repeat, reverse to, uh, to get it back in. If I see if I can just do it. There we go. Yeah, bit of a monkey and it's back working again. So that visor system is bang on really. Um, it's got everything you could possibly want on it. Um, chin guard they've got <coughs> all you have to do to open it on the inside of the helmet there there's a little button so you can do it one-handed press it in unlocks unlatches it at either side and the chin guard goes up now some modular helmets are designed for you to be able to ride within that position uh, this one isn't 
MT state that they think it's a bit bad news if you're riding along like this. this. Obviously your face is exposed, but also when you've got a chin guard up like that, chances are it, it, it could dig in if you have an accident, if you have an off or something, it could dig in, rotate your head, that could damage your neck. Uh, some modulars have the chin guard go all the way to the back. Um, I've got a, a roof Desmo here, which is which does that. Uh, and that is what they call dual, dual homologated. So it's legal, it's been tested and designed, and it's legal to ride with the chin guard open and right at the back of the helmet. Again, have a look at the website, we've got all of the dual homologated, uh, the safest at least, the safest dual homologated helmets on the market. Uh, all in one or two pages there for you to have a look at. <coughs> but this one, you can only ride with your chin guard down. Uh, it only offers protection then. So pack it down, it locks in position and you're good to go. Um, ventilation, so you can see it's got a fairly standard ventilation. Most helmets have the same, a similar sort of uh, vent system. It's got a chin, guard, a chin guard vent there, which is gonna pull in air around your mouth and up onto the back of the visor. You can see that maybe you'll see the little inlets around the bottom of the visor there, push air on the back uh, to keep your face cool and to stop misting. <coughs> And you've got a top vent there, which uses a big slider, very glove friendly, to be able to open it and close it. And unusually, you've got a closable exhaust vent. Possibly not much point, but uh, it's there anyway. If you want to close, if you want to shut up shop completely, close it all down, and then you can do. So the chin vent works on a big toggle, again glove friendly. Um, brings in air to around the chin area and the back of the visor. This one, like most helmets, sucks air into uh, into the top of the helmet through holes in the uh, in the shell and the uh, internal uh, liner. And don't know if you can see it here, but I'll I'll give it a go. Uh, there, are, as usual, there are there are vents in the uh, inside of the helmet. Um, you can see the channel that it pulls it through to and onto the top of your scalp. Um, so that's the, and out the back of the exhaust, of course. So that's going to keep your head reasonably uh, reasonably uh, cool. Um, we'll have to wait until it's been on the market a lot. People have given a view as to whether the ventilation's any good and we'll add it to the uh, review on the website when we're here. Um, so all in all, oh, look at the internals. <coughs> it's a removable, washable um, lining on the inside. Um, fairly standard but it feels comfortable, wicking material in there to help pull moisture away from your skin and keep things nice and cool and it's all secured onto your head by a micrometric uh, fastener. These are really really easy to use um, and really popular so obviously you just tighten it in there uh, using the right chip. When you want to release it you um, pull up this uh, little red tab and it releases the, uh, the ratchet in there. <coughs> Very easy to use but make sure that you do keep them from time to time you've got to check that uh, the, it's adjusted correctly using this little buckle here because they do stretch over time and you might end up putting it on and it's not actually tight enough on your chin because uh, the last thing you want is for your helmet to come off. Oh, one thing I didn't mention about the, uh, the visor system is that it's got a sun visor and I'm a massive fan of uh, sun visors. Stop you getting caught out when you, the sun gets low um, and getting you dazzled and so on. Um, I mean, I, I used to use wear shades all the time, but I, I generally don't bother these days. I'm, I'm happy with the sun visor. They're never the darkest. They're not allowed to be too dark uh, legally. Um, so some people do complain. I mean, I think if I lived in Arizona, I'd probably wear shades as well. Uh, or get myself a really dark uh, sun visor. But this one works on, see this uh, on the bottom left here. It's quite a, a good little system, actually. Press forward on the red uh, button there and it drops it down. And then to, to pull it back up, uh, press on the uh, it's spring loaded press on the black one there so press it down can you see there's the sun visor press on the back one at the back and it pops back up it's either fully down or fully up but to be honest that's probably all that most of us need rather than having it, uh, it you know you so you can drop it down a little bit so that kind of thing um, very easy to use <coughs> looks a good system and of course you can be you'll be able to pull that off to clean it from time to time too that's dead easy to do usually um, it weighs in about 1.7 kilos, so you're going to find that that's about average weight for a modular helmet, actually bang on average weight for a modular helmet. Uh, so there's not going to be any problem with the weight. Um, it's not the lightest. Again, you can, if you want a really light helmet, if that's kind of a priority for you, jump on the website. We've got a page just full of really light helmets. I think it's when they're over 1.4 kilos. But this one's 1.7, that's fine for most of us. That's about three and three quarter pounds. 
Um, other than that, if there's any more details you want about the MT Atom full, uh, Flip Front Helmet, jump on the website, there's loads of information on there. And we always uh, give links to retailers who do stock the MT Atom. Uh, we've got a good range and a great reputation for quality of service. You don't want to be buying from somebody who doesn't deliver, takes ages, that kind of stuff. These guys are all independently reviewed as offering great service. So there you go, the MT Atom Flip Front Helmet in stores now.